Good morning, welcome to my channel. It's currently Wednesday, 5 a.m. Just woke up and I figured I would just kind of do a day in life here in Honolulu. It's my first week here, moved here last Wednesday and just wanted to film today, kind of take you through what my day looks like right now. So every morning, start with a makeshift electrolyte drink, 12 ounces of water, one full lemon and some salt. So that's just quick electrolytes to rehydrate in the morning. So today I'll just take you through my training, my meals, what I do today, have a job interview, probably go to the beach, got a big speed workout. So first things first, got to rehydrate and then get ready for the run. Doesn't taste the best, but gets the job done. The sodium and the lemon juice serves as electrolytes, and then water kind of acts on those electrolytes and keeps you hydrated. Remember that greater control over events will come from realistic assessments of the situation. So something I've been doing recently is just listening to an audiobook while I get ready for the morning or kind of get ready for bed during night. So right now, Laws of Human Nature. It's a very long read, but it's been pretty cool recently. Just to give a quick room tour here. Not much, but just the bare essentials so far. No furniture, kind of holding off until I get an income source. Pretty good closet, once I get some you know, storage cubbies and whatnot, it'll be a lot better. So something about this place is they have very low ceilings and the doorways kind of hang pretty low. So if I don't crouch going through the doorways, I'll be hitting my head on the frame. But that was uh, something surprising to see when I first moved in, but I've gotten used to it now. So this is main living area got my wi-fi set up front door is here it's kind of the living moving down this will be like the kitchen and dining refrigerator this was the only thing that was here when i moved in fully stocked looking very nice so far got a little Storage rack here. Plates, bowls, cups, cookware, microwave. Pretty basic kitchen setup. Another storage rack over here. It's a pretty convenient little spot. And then out there, it's my washer and dryer. Bathroom. Also very basic and small, but a toilet front and center and then a little vanity but living alone in Honolulu expensive so I would just take whatever I had rent is still 1400 for this little place but it's probably the best deal that I've found while looking for places and that is the AC unit pretty much just used overnight Keep the windows open during the day, no AC. Seems to be perfect. Now, pre-run meal consists of two bananas and some honey. Also, I have my coffee that I made last night. I like to just make it the night before. It saves time. Just put it in a thermos and it keeps it hot, even overnight. Okay, sitting on the floor now. This is pre-workout meal, two bananas and some honey, and then also coffee from the night before. So I got used to this whole vlog thing, trying to look to the lens instead of the little viewfinder to the right, but I'm just gonna sit here for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna head out to do a temple workout, so it will be 
two mile warm up followed by eight miles at marathon pace, which will be seven minute, 50 second minute per mile, and then a one mile cool down. So 11 miles total of volume. Other than that, just going to eat this. Also need to get sunscreen today because I got absolutely fried. <laughs> Lots of time in the sun. Almost 6.30 now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this run started. 11 miles total, so should take maybe an hour and a half, we'll see. But Wednesdays and Saturdays are the longest runs of the week for me. Currently running six times a week. Monday, Tuesday, shorter runs, so it's either like seven or four miles. Wednesday, speed workout, so it's either intervals or tempo. Thursday, Friday, same as Monday, Tuesday, so either a seven or a four mile run. Then Sunday's my long run. Either Saturday or Sunday. So last Saturday, did 20 miles. This Saturday, I'll be doing a half marathon for time. So I'm supposed to be doing 750 minute miles which is my marathon pace. And then next Saturday, I think it's going to be a 22 mile run. So I'll be the longest ever and the longest of prep. So after that, I'm going to do a two week taper and then it's race day. Oh, okay. Eight mile temple workout is complete. That was very difficult. I forgot to kind of adjust the pace for temperature and dew point and all that. So I should have done it slower, but it was a two mile warm up done at 9.33 pace, then 10.10 pace, so super slow. And then eight miles as follows, 7.44, 7.48, 7.46, 7.55, 7.27, 7.28, 7.29, 7.30, 7.31, 635. I don't know if that somehow got messed up, but I don't think I ran a 635 mile. And then 826. So on average, that was less than eight minute miles, which is my gold marathon pace. Probably take a cold shower, make breakfast, drink my electrolytes. I'll show you that. Just mix this up the night before, mason jar. So I just do my creatine and scoop of BPN electrolytes. So this has 500 milligrams of sodium. So there's a lot of misconception with sodium. Sodium is actually good as long as you drink water because it serves as an electrolyte. It essentially holds water in your body, keeps you hydrated. So without electrolytes, without sodium, water really wouldn't do much just has nothing to be held on by. This is what breakfast is looking like. Got three pieces of sourdough, also three whole eggs with about 250 mils of egg whites cooked in one serving of butter. Also got about a third of a pineapple. So idea for this meal, lots of carbs for replenishing glycogen after that run. Also high protein for the muscle recovery and pineapple proven to enhance muscle recovery. So all around well-balanced meal, put some salt and pepper, good for electrolytes. Got to rehydrate after that. Currently almost 6 p.m. now. Just wrapped up a job interview for a ACE bowl place. I, I bought a car and I was trying to do a little check-in earlier but my phone died so I'll give a little walk around of what I got it's a 2005 Ford Explorer sport sport track I think it's called so here it is very nice basic truck 2005 about 179,000 miles brand new tires brand new battery brand new radiator it's got a bed extender which is perfect because there is quite a small bed on here a few dings but 
going to be an island beater, so kind of growing into its name. Biggest damage is just that little scratch. But here's the inside. Very nice interior, all things considered. Weather mats, perfect for the beach. So I get sand anywhere. Pretty spacious center console. This thing is missing, but it's right there. It's gotta put it back on. Also the uh, driver door panel's off, but <laughs> you just buy a new one off of eBay if I really want to. Seatbelt, a little mangled, but still works. That's about it for damage, except for just the liners, but that doesn't really matter. Back seat, very spacious. Something you don't really see much in trucks, a spacious back seat. So it's good to have the extended cab, I guess it's called. A little bit better liners, but overall very clean. Pretty surprised, especially since I only paid 2900 30 doors. There's a bit of a tent for the rear windows. Yeah, this is going to be my island beater for the next year. Hopefully it lasts that long. And hopefully I can sell it for more than I got it because these usually go for around 5000 so 2900 a very good deal. Also means I have a little bit of wiggle room in case I need repairs or anything. So it's a better all around shot of it. Currently 7 p.m. about to make my last meal for the day. So this is gonna be some Greek yogurt with fruit and honey. So just get this organic plain Greek yogurt from Costco. Also have these little plastic deli containers, which is very convenient to put washed cut fruit in. So I got blueberries and strawberries. And then also this honey from Costco again. So next time I go to Costco, I'll just Kind of do a little grocery haul with what I get. I just go once a week, cook on Sunday, and then everything lasts me all the way until next Sunday. This is what the finished product's looking like. So I just use one sixth of a container of that, and then whatever amount of honey I feel like. Plain Greek yogurt is kind of tart on its own, so the honey and the fruit helps with sweetness. It's got lots of strawberries, lots of blueberries. It's probably my favorite meal of the day. It's a good way to end the night. Lots of carbs help you sleep and protein for muscle recovery overnight. So this concludes today's video. Just took you guys through a day in my life living here in Honolulu. Officially been one week here. Did a lot today, did the eight mile Temple Run, and then bought a car, so that was very exciting. Lots of good food, lots of exciting things today. Also had a job interview. I hear back this weekend or Monday at the latest. So this wraps up this video. I will probably film again on Saturday or Sunday. Saturday will be my long run. I do that with the Wahoo Run Club, super cool experience. Lots of really cool people, like-minded individuals, which is good. It's crazy how different the lifestyle here is compared to Arizona, where I'm from. You know, Saturday would be typically a lot of people hung over, but Saturday morning, 7.15 a.m., there were dozens of people just at the beach park waiting to go run with people with the same mindset. Something that's very cool and very hard to find, but 
Very glad I found that group. Found them through Instagram. You can check them out at Oahu Run Club on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Hunter Setterberg. Trying to post there a lot every day, do lots of stories. So check me out there and I will see you for Sunday's video. Thank you for watching.